everyone i hope you're having an amazing sunday um so welcome to another episode of visual force page development uh so today we'll be talking about controller extensions uh if you haven't watched my previous videos uh, around uh, custom um, controllers and standard controllers i would highly encourage you to please check it out because it's very important uh before you dive into controller extensions right okay so let's dive in the first thing first we need to log into your org Right, and as usual, I will never encourage you to use a customer sandbox of production. Please uh, register for a free developer account if you haven't done so. Okay, all right. So, what are controller extensions? Right. So, we have seen standard controller. We have seen uh, custom controllers. Right. Controller extensions are merely an Apex class which got a constructor. Right. Of a type uh, Apex Pages dot standard controller. Right. So that's all it is. So you can um, create a multiple. Uh, controller extensions and, and you can use it uh, with your standard controller uh, with using commas right okay so let me uh, give you a demonstration so that will become more clear what I'm trying to do here okay all right so, so let's uh, jump into our uh, developer console because I'm gonna create an apex class here because that we're gonna use that apex class in our uh, controller extensions right sounds fun right okay cool all right, so first thing first, you need to go into this um, uh, gear cog icon, and from there, it will take you to developer console. And uh, just take a second to load. All right, so if you remember, uh, this is what we have developed in our last uh, episode, our last lecture, what do we call? All right, so let's go to file and go to new. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, build uh, an extension for a contact, right? Okay, so we're gonna do contact uh, EXT, right? Just to make it simple. Um, so let's create a constructor for here. Uh, I hope everyone knows what constructors are, right? Um, so contact uh, extension. So we're gonna do, okay, for now. Right, okay, so uh, what we're gonna do, uh, we just Gonna take the params here. A, uh, sorry, apex pages. Dot standard controller. STD. All right. Okay. Now, uh, let's create a um, private variable here. Private final contact. Uh, C O N T. Okay. Right now. So what we're gonna do? We need contact equals to std dot get records okay um, and then we're gonna typecast this with a contact object All right so we are using a constructor right and we're using this constructor to get this to get the record right and we typecast it to a contact here right pretty straightforward now let's create a uh, method here so what we're gonna do so we do public uh, string uh, get because as if you remember we talked about uh, ex con uh, custom controllers why we have get method set method actions right we're gonna <clears throat> excuse me we're gonna deal only with the get here so we're gonna do display text right and um, so let's gonna do so um, that's a weird noise out there I think all right so so many things going on on Sunday uh, uh, you know how it is uh, depending upon the town or the part of the world you're from Sundays is always busy, right? People go to church, people do other things, you know. You you hear a lot of noises, buzzes around, so right. If you hear if you're hearing some of this, my apologies. Okay, so select first name, um, uh, last name, uh, from contact, uh, where ID equals to, uh, oh, sorry, uh, what we're gonna do? So we are gonna get the ID from here, right? Contact dot <clears throat> ID. Um, and we're gonna do return ct uh, dot first name okay plus space uh, ct dot last name okay let's see if it saves <clears throat> excuse me right so uh, what we've done so we we created this uh, get meta right so which actually displays the uh, the first uh, first name and the last name. Oh, that's interesting. It's going to take some time to save. It, it doesn't happen that. Okay. Um, that often. All right. Okay. While it saves, what we're going to do, 
we're gonna jump into our org. Okay, let, it's a saved. All right, then save. Uh, for whatever reason. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. I was wondering what's going on. As I thought, a query looks the same. Okay, all right, cool. That we so we have created uh, an extension, right? Right. We're gonna use that in our Visual Force page. The way to do that is pretty straightforward. Um, so you're gonna. Uh, so I will jump here uh, to you know this usual uh, org of mine. So I'm gonna take everything off from here till Lightning. Uh, so we'll type Apex. Uh, so we're gonna name uh, Visual Force uh, extensions as. Uh, contact extend extend bf right okay. we'll just make it simple and we will say oh, i do not exist does not exist so we'll create it for you which is pretty straightforward right so i hope you know what i'm doing right so i've covered all this in my previous uh lectures so we're gonna do standard controller so okay you tell me what comes contact right all right cool <clears throat> all right <clears throat> excuse me i got this uh, bad sore throat so just the weather changes we, we we are in the winter now um in new zealand uh it's not really uh winter in my town we get like two degrees which is not really winter right i'm a winter person you know i like you know i like winter i mean i like snow so i mean i don't feel cold for whatever reason so yeah, yeah okay so we gonna uh Sorry, I digress. So, okay, so uh, extension, right? So, yeah, uh, so we're using standard controller, contact, and extensions, right? There's an attribute called extension. So, what we're going to pass in the extension is this the name of the Apex class, right? So, copy this one. And uh, we're going to paste here. And then we're going to create a page blog, as usual. Apex page blog. Um, and so, we're going to say title. Uh, equals to um, so display contact right so okay that's great uh, we now we want is an output text right apex dot output uh, text right and just put it down and um, value equals to uh, right so we're gonna do this. And right now, what we gonna do? We are gonna use this method, right? So if you followed uh, my previous lecture and where I've demonstrated, if you have something like get display text, right, you need to exclude get out of it, and then only type, uh, you know, whatever comes out for get. So in our case, it's the display text, right? So we're gonna take the display text here, and I'm gonna put it here, and let's see if it saves, right? Uh, right okay so we didn't get anything here oh sorry all right, all right. list has no role for assignment to s subject that's that's correct because we haven't passed an id here right because we are telling to uh, Salesforce, look, this is my Visual Force page, but give me the data and Visual Force. And Salesforce, is like, that's great, this is your Visual Force page, but what ID you are after? Where is the ID field, right? So, if you remember in our first lecture on Visual Force, where I have to put the ID, so let's go to contact, right? <clears throat> so, uh, today's session will be very small because I wanted to show you about the controller extensions. That's all I wanted to do today. Uh, I don't want it to take much of your time on Sunday. Uh, I know you might be interested to spend time with your loved ones. That's all good. So I uh, will take a uh, very uh, short time of yours today. So okay. So we're gonna pass the ID equals to here, and voila, there you go. So we are displaying, uh, you know, Captain, uh, you know, America. That's a display text that comes from here, right? So that's. That's pretty interesting, right? Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to cover. So yeah, well, one more thing before I uh, end the session today. So you can have uh, multiple classes here, right? You can have uh, contact extension two. So if you have contact extension two, you can type like with comma contact extension 
too, right? And w imagine what happened like if you have a similar name method, like if you have contact extension and contact extension one, right? And you and both of the classes have a method called display text. Now, and you might wonder which one it will call, right? If you put only display text, so it will call the 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 left one. You know, if you have a contact extension comma contact extension two, right? It will call the the first one of this one. I mean, contact extension, right? That's that's pretty straightforward. So yeah, so it will if you have the two of the right contact extension two, right? Uh, so it will call uh, the display text of this class, the first one, the leftmost, right? That's pretty that's pretty straightforward. So yeah, I mean, play around with Visual Force is pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna start with Lightning uh, in our next lecture, whenever it is. Um, so I hope I give you enough uh, idea around Visual Force page. Go to Trailhead. Uh, there are a lot of documentation around Trailhead. Practice as much as you can because, you know, you might be, uh, if you're someone who's aspiring Salesforce developer, I would encourage you to, <clears throat> excuse me, I would encourage you to practice more, uh, understand the concept more because it's very important to understand the fundamentals, right? You can do fancy stuff later, right? I mean, we do a lot of uh, uh, development on Salesforce, right? We do a lot of integration stuff in a while, but you need to understand the first of one, one thing, you know, which we, everyone in our team agrees that you need to understand the Salesforce fundamentals, right? If you don't understand that, then you won't know what, you know, what, what another developer is talking about at this, at the same time, right? I always emphasize that before you dive into any coding part of the Salesforce, you need to know, uh, basic fundamentals around Salesforce admin, right? Well, and how to create a contact, how to set up a few things, right? And how to set up a user, what up, you know, profiles, permission sets. These are very important. You need to understand because, uh, if you remember, we talked about, uh, sharing models with and without sharing. So if you don't understand the sharing, right? Model, you won't be able to understand the concept behind, you know, when to use the sharing, when not to use the sharing. The reason why I'm bringing this up because uh, I wanted to uh, understand that uh, Salesforce is a great platform, right? I, I love working in Salesforce, but before I started doing any sort of coding on Salesforce, I I went and studied for admin, and then we I did a lot of hands-on and admin. Uh, fortunately, at my work, we use a lot of Salesforce stuff, so that was not a problem for me to you know get started with the things. So, you know, the real stuff comes from the real experience. That's my personal opinion. Because when you work in a real project, you you tend to you know come across different challenges. You know, there are certain things which won't go work the way it's mentioned uh, elsewhere. Right? You might have to figure out different ways to solve a problem. Right? It's all about how you know how you understand a problem and and you take it to the next level where you you know build a solution a solution which is more optimal and you know um, if you're someone who understand data structure algorithms you know what I'm talking about so yeah so yeah that's all I wanted to cover guys today so uh, enough about you know bragging stuff and blah 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 sorry if, if it annoys you so my apologies I'll try to uh, minimize it in my next coming uh, lectures. That being said, I hope you have an amazing Sunday wherever you are. Uh, adios and greetings from New Zealand. Bye-bye.